Hey, what's up, my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another fucking mug bang, gang bang, finger bang, do your thing. Uh, we got my homie Natter on what's deck up? from Freak Eating. Um, Want to go ahead and tell them about your channel again? Yeah, I have a I have a channel up here on YouTube called Freak Eating, where I go around to restaurants that have giant food challenges and I try to stuff my face with them. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, and I tell you a little about the restaurants where I'm going, places I've been. But most of all, it's all about the food. So if you like food, go ahead and check it out. He's a legitimate, uh, you know, eating person. Um, he's been on Man vs. Food. Um, you know, what I mean, like. You gotta go check his channel out. He has over 100,000 subscribers. Um, we're trying to do, uh, we're trying to part the sea and you know get all my subscribers to go to uh, his channel. So check him out. We're trying to get him to 200,000. And uh, I know what you're thinking. If he only has 100,000, how's he gonna get to 200,000 with your 4,000? Um, magic. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna do it. Um, so what we got today uh, is Sonic. We went ahead and got the chili cheese tits. I mean tots. Um, <laughs> this is apparently the large. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What do you think about it? I don't know. It's like a small. It looks it like is. a small. Yeah, like it definitely looks small. Um, oh wait. Yeah, I, that's what she said, right? It yeah, looks small. Exactly. Yeah. It looks small. Uh, she didn't say that to me, but uh, <laughs> it definitely <laughs> is. Uh, you know what I mean? It yeah. definitely. I mean, it still looks appetizing. I'm hungry as fuck. Um, I'm also gonna talk about the time that I uh, ate chili cheese uh, tots. The first time I ate chili cheese tots, it's actually a cool story to it. It's kind of funny, um, and you've never heard it, so no, you know, I haven't. I sure haven't heard it. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I discovered that they even you know make chili cheese items. But I'll let you guys know oh. a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, dig in, and I guess give our opinion on yeah this. Hmm, kind of soggy. Yeah, definitely soggy, not crispy. You do a lot of the awkward chewing. Oh, this is an ASMR. I'm sorry. I have the awkward chewing, but yeah, I don't. I talk. So you mean like awkward silence chewing? Nah. Mm. No, no. I leave that to uh, to the ASMR channels, like you said. You're a banger. I am. Yeah. Banger. Yeah. I think it's pronounced mukbang. Mukbang. But I call it mukbang. I just play around with it. You know what I mean? Mukbang, oh, yeah. gangbang, finger bang. You know what I mean? Like. Because technically, a gang of people can do it. Yeah. And you, use, you can use your fingers. I don't know why you guys thought I said it, but you know, it's definitely for a good, clean reason is what, oh, okay. what I meant. All right. So, let's go ahead and get involved with the story time while we have time. All right, so, I'm sure you don't remember the first time you ever ate chili cheese anything, do you? No. The reason I remember this is because I got bum rushed by a bull. <laughs> I know it. I mean, let me, let me just tell you. What's the city where they have the bull, uh, the bullshit, the, um, what are they, like, bulls rush at you? It's in Spain, isn't it? You're yeah, Spain, I believe, yeah. But, like the city, you don't know. What part of Spain? Oh man, is it Pamplona? I don't know. I believe so. Well, I, I know I went to Spain, but I just don't know what area I was in. But when I, okay, so it was about 2000, I think it was like 2008. Okay. Well, like 11 years ago. I went to um, a trip out in Spain. It was just a fun trip just to, you know, get away. Yeah. I thought to myself, you know, like I'm Mexican and I think, you know, what makes up a Mexican is like Aztec or Mayan. And Spanish. So I was like, I'm gonna go see what the Spanish hyenas look like out there. So anyway, I went to Spain. I was excited to try the food, kind of like you, you know, mm -hmm. travel a new place and, and try some food and shit like that. Yeah. It's always a cool thing. That's how I um, plan my trips based on the food. My oh, man, I want I want to go there just to try the food, you know. Yeah. That's what life's all about. Food and and pussy, but anyway, I went to Spain, chilled out there, went to a bunch of Spanish restaurants, a bunch of like real authentic Spanish food. Yeah, shit was good. 
then we we're about to leave. We had like one day left on the trip. And I was like, okay, before we go, I want to hit up like a real authentic hole in the wall Spanish restaurant. And I, we found one. We looked it up, but it was actually like a literal hole in the wall. Yeah. Like it was like outside and inside. Kind of hard to explain, but it was a building that, you know, it didn't have like a ceiling or anything. They cooked like a lot of stuff, like on a grill. Yeah. And so I went out there and I asked them, you know, what kind of stuff do you guys have? You know, they had like real Spanish rice and, and like these Spanish meats, which were, which were delicious. But for some odd reason, they had chili cheese fries on the menu. Huh. So I was like, you know, I want to try, you know, fries with chili and cheese on it. You know? yeah. I never tried that before. I usually just have mice with ketchup and shit like that. Yeah. Dip it in some ranch. So I tried it. And it was pretty good. Um, I don't know if you're from Spain or if you're like native Spaniard. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like invented the whole chili cheese thing. Like I don't know. Or if that's just all over the place. But. It's all right. Makes them. Yeah, Sonic does. Um, I think Sonic Sonic might be a Spanish company. I'm gonna go ask him, but it's possible. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I, I went ahead and uh, was eating the chili cheese fries. And then I started hearing like a like a like a sound like like the ground was shaking, you know. And I'm you know I'm from California, so I wasn't really tripping. I was like, oh, you know, it just might be a mild earthquake or something. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I, either that or, you know what I'm saying, there could be like, you know, a few big girls going through to, you know, come have lunch. So I wasn't really tripping. I was just like, you know, I don't know what it is, whatever. I'm just eating. And so I was just sitting down and I was actually by myself. You know what I mean? I went by myself and I was sitting down out of nowhere, this red bull and he was bright red, kind of like the Chicago bull mascot, like bright red like that. Fucking starts rushing at me, knocks me off of my seat in the bench. And I was still holding like my chili cheese fries when I fell. And they had this guy come out of nowhere. He was like dressed like, you know, the guys that hold the fucking red cape and shit. But he was able to like tassel him, lasso him. Like, I'm not exactly sure what it is. But yeah. he got the rope, threw it on him, and brought him back. Knocked my ass on the ground. Um, didn't really ruin my chili cheese experience, but it made it stand out. And, you know, because that's the first time I ever had him. So I, what would you do if you got like knocked down by a bull? Like, I probably would have shot my pants. <laughs> yeah? Probably. Oh, man, especially after eating chili and cheese, you probably would have. Probably would have freaking saw my life flash before my eyes. Yeah, no, I... Bull, man? I mean, I've been knocked down by a big girl before, you know what I mean? Like, but it was more like in a sexual way. It was a little bit different than, you know, dealing with the bull. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like, I like animals, so I wasn't really tripping, you know. I was kind of honored in a way because I was in Spain, and, you know, they had that bull thing going on, so it's kind of like... You know, I watch. I was happy in a way. I'm not gonna lie. So if you're gonna die, getting hit by a bull is a good way to go. I, I wouldn't say I wanted to die by it. You know what I mean? But getting knocked down while you're eating lunch isn't isn't the worst thing. I think the way I want to go is like, let me think. Hmm. Like having a heart attack by eating chili cheese tots from Sonic. I think that's how I want to go. <laughs> I think that'd be the best way. They were actually better than I thought they'd be. They were. Yeah. Hmm. I think that they were just okay. Like. You know, I can go to uh, my white homie's house and ask his mom to make them and they'd be, you know, just as good. Yeah. Not that white people can't cook, you know what I mean? But they love chili cheese tots, so. Would they um, be sloppy tots? <laughs> sloppy tots? <laughs> yes. And if you guys like sloppy tots, let us know in the comments below. I definitely um, had a fun time in Spain. Um, you know, I got to do a couple other things and but uh, one thing that stands out to me the most is that chili cheese story. So I'd like to hear if I have anybody who's from Spain or has been to Spain or knows anything about how chili cheese shit started. Like, does somebody, like, it had to have started somewhere, you know? It can't yeah. just, it couldn't have just been, oh, let's just, just make chili cheese stuff. You know, who put those together? Did that yeah. start in Spain or not? Nah? Like, I don't know. Kind of hard to say. So, um, that's pretty much what we got. Uh, I'm not sure how long the video was, but I thank you for watching it up to this point. Let's get uh, Natter to uh, 600,000 subscribers <laughs> by 600, tomorrow. <laughs> let's let's up the ante up in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Uh, let's let's just make it happen. You know, like if you got to create 100,000 Gmail accounts and do it, uh, then go ahead and do it. <laughs> um, 
I'm just playing. Don't do that. Don't create an yeah. extra account. Yeah, don't uh, don't yeah. get our accounts banned. Yeah, <laughs> Gmail, <laughs> YouTube. If you're watching this, I was just playing. Um, you know, I'd be playing. All right, cool. Well, subscribe to Natter. Subscribe to Freak Eating. Um, what were you saying earlier? Like, don't go to Pornhub and. Type yeah, of yeah. Eating. Basically, you're not gonna find Freak Eating on Pornhub or any of the adult sites. It's on All YouTube. Right. It's on Instagram. Okay. Just not Pornhub. All right. I mean, there is freak eating on there, but not him. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> someone else. Yeah, exactly. So, thanks for tuning in to the video. I appreciate you coming out to Stockton. He was actually in the area. Yeah, Stockton's um, a nice, nice little town here. Yeah. yeah. We're definitely in a good part, you know what I mean? I want him to have a good experience while he's here. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. Hit the bell button for notifications if you like, um, if you like Bell Biv DeVoe. I don't know if you remember them. All right, see you guys on the next I'll one. See ya. All right. All right, cool. Then you gotta remember to take off your makeup, right? I do gotta remember that, yeah. Have you ever forgotten that you just went somewhere? I actually haven't, no. Okay. My lady asked me that too. She's like, have you ever forgotten you just went somewhere? I'm like, uh, nah. <laughs> That's why. <what? laughs>